I love you. Goodbye house. Goodbye kitchen. Bye house. See you later. Hello, he's gone to Germany. Welcome to the fields of Harriotsham. It's a nice room, I guess. Nice view of of the city. Hmm. Seems all right. Okay, so what's the plan? Now it's 4 p.m. Just need to wait about an hour until the person I'm meeting arrives. Well, I guess my first impressions of Germany are it's all right, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it so far. People seem friendly. People in the comment section kept telling me German people are very rude, but I haven't really experienced that yet. Everyone seems quite nice, or people seem nice enough here. So I guess I just have to wait for a bit now until my acquaintance arrives, and then we're gonna go and have something to eat. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll do some sightseeing. I'll try and take some nice photos for you guys at home. Oh, this is a nice pencil. I think I flooded the shower. This shower is so stupid, look. I can't even get in there now because the whole floor is soaking wet. So this is the shower. There. There's no door. So it's kind of like an open shower. And the drain. There's the drain next to the toilet. Why don't they put the drain inside of the shower cubicle so the water drains into the drain? So what happened is all the water flooded out from the open shower, as it would, because it's an open shower. And then the entire floor got soaked. So I put all the towels down to soak up the water. But the water isn't draining into the drain. It's really weird. Look at this. I don't understand who designed this so badly. Now I don't know what to do with these towels. There's not much I can do apart from just leaving them there. Look, there's loads of water here and it's not, it's not draining. What a stupid shower. Uh, anyway, I have to get ready. We're leaving this hotel. Well, I'm leaving. There's no we. I'm the only person here. Leaving this hotel and I'm booking into, checking into a different hotel. Uh, but I can't check in until afternoon and right now it's 10 a.m. in the morning. So I have a lot of time to kill. Might do a live stream.
to Germany. The whole place is kind of dead. It's a nice looking place, I guess. Looks clean. I'm in the second hotel now. It's not really that interesting. Have two beds, a mirror, little shelf, little TV, table, and a mirror, and a bathroom. Yeah, not really interesting. Anyway, let me explain what happened yesterday. I cannot believe what happened yesterday. Oh my god. So the whole reason why I came to Germany in the first place was to meet this German girl. And I met her. We went to a Mexican restaurant and it was okay. Um, I was a bit nervous because they sat us right next to these two German ladies. The tables were right next to each other, side to side, and I was sitting right next to this German woman. And I felt very uncomfortable, so it was kind of difficult to make conversation, but I tried my best. And then after we finished eating, um, we walked around for a bit in the freezing cold for a few hours, and then we went back to the hotel. And I thought, great, this is going really well. Usually when I meet girls off the internet, um, they're not very attractive. They're usually kind of ugly, a bit fat. Most of the time I meet girls off the internet, they are always uglier than their pictures. But this is the first time I've ever met a girl who was prettier than her pictures. I know, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? But I, I saw her on the street when I was looking when I was looking for her and she was slim, she was feminine, she had nice she had nice facial features, she had clear skin. Uh, I couldn't believe that she was that pretty, but but she was, that was her. And well, you know what they say when things are too good to be true. Well, we went back to the hotel that I booked for the two of us because she said that she would like to stay the night. And then things just kind of went downhill. She kept messaging someone on her phone, which was weird. She kept messaging someone on her phone and that was kind of annoying because, you know, when you're with someone for the first time and it's kind of like a date, you want them to pay attention to you. It's kind of annoying when they're sitting there typing on their phone the whole time. It makes you think, oh, am I so boring that you, you, don't, you don't want to talk to me and you'd rather play on your phone? So I sat on the bed and she was sitting on a chair messaging someone. And then I asked her if she wanted to come over to the bed and she said, no, maybe later. And I thought, oh, okay, I better back off. I don't want to pressure her into doing anything. Maybe if I just be a bit patient, she'll come over by herself. So I just went back to my phone. I was checking comments on YouTube and then she got a phone call. She picked up the phone and I could hear a German guy's voice on the other end of the phone. After she finished the phone call, I asked her who was that? She said it was her ex-boyfriend and she was messaging her ex-boyfriend the whole time. Apparently they broke up last November because she dumped him because she didn't find him attractive anymore, but they were still messaging each other every single day. Isn't that really weird? What kind of couple breaks up and then carries on messaging each other every single day? And then what kind of guy rings up his ex-girlfriend to nag her or to pester her? He knew that she was with me in the hotel because for some reason she decided that it was a good idea to tell her ex-boyfriend that she was going to a hotel to meet a guy. I have no idea why she would do this. So she, she finished her phone call and then we started chatting again. And I thought, great, we're, we're chatting again. Maybe we can, you know, get to know each other better. And then the bloody phone rings again and it's her ex-boyfriend phoning her again. Oh, it was so annoying. And then halfway through the call, she turned to me and she asked me, is it okay if she could take that call? And then she asked me if there was somewhere she could take the call. I said, why don't you go out into the corridor and take the phone call? And she packed all the stuff, put on her coat, walked out of the room. And at that moment, I just knew it. <laughs> I knew she wasn't coming back. I, abs I could just feel it. I can just sense that she was not coming back. I waited about five or 10 minutes and I got a message from her saying, um, what did it say? She said, sorry, but I don't think I can stay the night with you. And then she said she's not coming back. 
She said her ex-boyfriend was guilt-tripping her. And then she also said that she wasn't ready and she wasn't in the mood to do anything. And I didn't even like her, apparently, according to her. And I replied to her saying, no, I do like you. I think you're really cute. I'm just very shy. And that's why I wasn't very talkative. She said it was weird in there and I just couldn't stay. So maybe I made the atmosphere or the situation weird or awkward because I wasn't very chatty. Uh, it's kind of disappointing because I thought she would know what kind of person I am considering that she's been watching my channel since last year, October. But this is something that people might get... Uh, this is something people might misunderstand. Maybe you guys think that I'm really chatty and I'm really talkative. Because, you know, when I make videos and when I do streams, I'm non-stop talking. I'm not like that in real life. I'm only like this when I'm by myself and I'm making videos. If you met me, I'm not very talkative. I'm very quiet. I'm very shy. It's kind of hard to open me up. It takes a special kind of person that can make me become chatty. And she was not that special kind of person because she was also kind of shy and introverted. And it was a bit awkward. I found it difficult finding things to talk about. So long story short, she came back to the hotel room with me. Nothing happened. And then she was messaging her ex-boyfriend the whole time and then phoning him. And then she left and told me she's not coming back. And I haven't spoken to her since then and I probably won't ever speak to her again. And yeah, I feel a bit angry and I feel a bit pissed off because I came to Germany for her. I came all the way to Germany to see her and I was hoping that something would happen between us. And now absolutely nothing's happened. I've wasted £120 on a plane ticket here, £20 on a train from my house to the airport in London. Um, all the money on these hotels. I've booked three nights in this hotel because I need to figure out what I want to do now. I'm not sure what I want to do now. I was going to book an Airbnb for a month and then try living here. But now, I don't know, this whole experience has kind of ruined my impression or my feelings of Germany. It just feels kind of boring, dull and depressing here. There's not really anything here that's special or interesting or nice. I guess the only nice thing about this place is it's relatively clean. And that, that's about it, really. It basically looks just like England, but people speak German instead of English. There's no difference. No difference at all. And I feel so disappointed because if you saw the, the messages we were sending each other, and if you saw the type of photos you that... If you saw the type of photos that she was sending me, then you wouldn't blame me for having high hopes and having expectations for something to happen and then for nothing to happen and to basically have this whole thing ruined by her ex-boyfriend which is such a weird situation that I, I'm not even sure if I can believe it's true or not because people were telling me that all the ex-boyfriend stuff is just fake she just needed a reason or an excuse to get out of the hotel room and yeah, I guess that is plausible, that, that could have been the case, but it seemed pretty convincing. I could hear his voice, he was speaking in German, so I didn't understand what he was saying, but he sounded pretty distressed and upset. Unless he's just a really good actor. Maybe they're both really good actors. It just seems like a lot of trouble and hassle, just so she could have a reason or an excuse to ditch me. I don't know. It's just weird. What do you think? Do you think the whole thing was just a made-up story? Maybe she planned this with the ex-boyfriend. Maybe she said, oh, I'm going to meet this guy, but if it turns out that he's a bit weird and I want to leave, can you phone me and pretend to be upset and then I'll make up this BS story about you guilt tripping me and then I'll have a convenient excuse to be able to leave and not make him feel too bad. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. Maybe I was just really boring and weird and I weirded her out too much. If that's the case then I feel that hurts. I feel pretty bad. 
I know people always like to joke and make fun of me saying I'm a weirdo, but I don't I don't think I'm that weird. I thought I was polite and I was nice and I was courteous. Maybe I'm boring in real life compared to videos. So now what? Um, I came to Germany to meet a girl, it didn't work out. Now I guess I need to figure out if I want to stay here for a longer amount of time or if I should just go back to England after after a few days. I don't really want to travel. People keep saying, why don't you travel here? Why don't you travel there? I've never had any interest in traveling. I'm not interested in going to Berlin. I'm not interested in going to museums. I don't care about seeing old buildings and fancy scenery. That's not something that's interesting to me. So I'll probably just sit around in the hotel doing streams and then playing games and then whinging whilst I decide if I want to book an Airbnb and stay longer or go back home. So yeah, that, that was it. Worst ever, hands down the worst ever dating experience I've ever had in my entire dating career. I've never ever had an experience that was this bad where I got the girl back to the hotel and absolutely nothing happened. And I've never ever been with a girl who had to make up some kind of excuse to ditch me like that. It's just insulting. It's just such a weird situation.